well, we don't want the radical, the square root, okay, or the radical here in the denominator. We want to get rid of that. We want this just to be an integer. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to multiply by the square root of 2 to the numerator and the denominator. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just going to give us square root of 4, which equals 2. So we can see we've gotten rid of the radical in the denominator. And in the numerator, we have 3 times the square root of 2, which is just 3 square root of 2. So again, our goal was to get rid of the, the radical in the denominator. So we multiply by the square root of 2, and that uh, gave us just an integer 2. Let's do another example. So say, for example, here we've got 20 divided by the square root of 5. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by square root of 5 to the numerator and denominator. That gives us 20 square root of 5 all divided by square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25, which equals 5. But you can see we can reduce the 20 and the 5 a little bit further. This is going to give us 4 square root of 5, and that's it. We've simplified it. Now, let's look at an example down here where we've got 5 divided by 1 minus square root of 2. Okay, this is a binomial. These up here were just monomials, meaning one term in the denominator. Binomial means two terms, like bicycle. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by what they call the conjugate. So it's going to be the same two terms here, but instead of minus in between them, we're going to put plus. So 1 plus the square root of 2. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to distribute the 5 okay, to the numerator here. So that equals 5 plus 5 square root of 2. Okay, but in the denominator, because this is a binomial, and this is a binomial, we can foil these together. Or you can think of doing the distributive property with the 1, and then the distributive property with the negative square root of 2. So if we do that, we get 1, okay, so 1 times 1, 1 times root 2, which is plus square root of 2. Inside, that gives you negative square root of 2. And then the last terms, negative square root of 2 times positive square root of 2 is just negative 2, okay, because the square root times itself just gives you the number underneath. You can see the positive root 2 and the negative root 2 cancel, and we're left with 1 minus 2 which equals negative 1. And if we divide both of these terms by negative 1, we're just going to get negative 5 minus 5 squared of 2. So I divided them both by negative 1.